Romania might not be the first country that springs to mind when you think of football, but they do have experience with building ridiculously big things, and some of their stadiums are actually world class. So let's check out the Liga 1 stadiums. We start with Arena Nacională, which is Romania's national stadium as the name suggests, but it's also home to Romania's biggest club, a club that's so big that over 40% of football fans in the country support them. The stadium features a retractable roof of the fabric variety, as well as a centre-hung video board, which are two amenities that no other stadium in the country can boast. It's certainly a stunning stadium, but I have heard that they were a bit stingy and bought the cheapest seats possible for this stadium. I've just read several comments about the crappy seats. I oh, know, might not be true. Stadio Nu Ion Oblomenko. When I first encountered this stadium, foolish me, I thought Oblomenko was the name of the bulbous shape of the exterior. Oblomenko sounds like it could be a shape, right? But no, it's actually named after a club legend. This one of a kind exterior looks incredible, but the interior even more so. Due to the unusual shape, you actually see more of the underside of that roof canopy than you do the stands themselves. That's neither a good or a bad thing, just unusual. I like it. Cluj Arena. This one might include a track, which is obviously not ideal for football, but the beauty of the architecture here overrides that. The metallic exterior looks stunning as does the unconventional wavy segmented roof. The seats themselves are a somewhat dull grey, but it does have to have a neutral colour scheme due to the fact that it's home to three clubs at the moment. Just the one in the first tier though. Staying in Cluj Napoca, we have Stadionu Dr. Konstantin Radulescu, a stadium that's unusual in more ways than one. Firstly, it's named after a doctor who was also a footballer. Things were different back then. And secondly, due to its elevated position and three-sidedness, most spectators are rewarded with a panoramic view of the city. In the foreground, there is this elevated video board, which is also kind of odd, but I love this stadium. Stadionu Orna. Yet again, we have a stadium that's shared by two clubs in the league. But I don't blame Chindia Targovista for wanting in on what is primarily Petrolu Ploiesti Stadium. Hence the vibrant blue and yellow colour scheme, the fact that they have their name on the seats, and also the fact that it's named after one of their club legends. The most distinctive aspect of this stadium would have to be those corner sections for VIPs, or in reality, VRPs. Stadionu Nikolai Dobrin. Numerous teams have called this place home in recent years, but Argus Potesti have been here since it opened in 1964. I'm not sure the design has changed much since then, but at least they haven't had to maintain an extensive facade as most of the stadium is sitting on sculpted earth. Well, they do have to mow it, of course. Stadionul Rapid Julesti opened just this year. It features a much more elaborate exterior than the last one. Most things are more elaborate than grass, to be fair. Due to room constraints, the interior features one stand that stands out. This one is a... Uh, damn it. Kindergarten was a long time ago. Trapezium, I think. The other stands are more conventional, but I'm loving those cherry red seats. Stadionu Francisc von Neumann is another newbie, one that reminds me of John Smith's stadium in England, and that's no bad thing. It's probably one of my favourite stadiums in central southern West Yorkshire. This one did cost less than a quarter of that stadium to construct though, so I wonder what shortcuts were taken. Oh, you know what, it's probably just that the roofs are white instead of blue. That must be where the 60 million euro difference is. Deep in the heart of Romania, we have Stadionul Gazmatan, but everyone calls it Gaza. Gaza certainly doesn't shy away from the bright colours. Both stands are fully blue and yellow on the outside and within. 
Gaza is the oldest stadium in the league, but this double-decker stand to the east is actually quite new. Well, about a decade old. But it was built on a tight budget, hence the pillars. Looks good though. See you, Gaza. Stadio Nul Municipal. The stadium's design could be summed up with one simple sentence. A single-tiered, oblong, uncovered seating bowl. But if you look deeper, the design gets more complex. There is a roof over there. Do you see it? It goes up and down like the Ziggy Zag. But yeah, despite its lack of features, it still looks fine. Stadionul Angel Jordanescu. We saw a riverside stadium earlier, but this one is surrounded on three sides by a river. It is elevated quite a bit, so it would take a ridiculous amount of rain to flood it. It has an interesting layout with stands on three sides and an elongated house thing on the other. Not bad. Way out of the town centre in some fields is Stadionul Vitoru, a relatively new stadium with quite a striking black and blue colour scheme. The club actually just moved into this venue last year, as their old venue was going the way of Ceausescu. Speaking of which, what a way to depose a dictator. If you don't know that story, it's worth looking up. Especially any Russians watching. Stadionul Orosinesk. This is quite a bare bones stadium, no covered seating in the house, and you can even see through some of the stands. But it looks fine. The proximity and elevated nature of some of the stands puts the spectators right on top of the field. Stadionul Sepsi Arena. This is yet another brand new stadium, and a very showy one at that. The design is more than just an aesthetic choice though. There's a complex political situation here. Despite it being in Romania, the city's population is made up of mostly Hungarian speakers, and this Hungarian-inspired stadium was actually financed by the Hungarian government. I think Orban is a bit of a stadium lover. Too bad he's also a And on that sense of expletive, that's all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, have a good one.